Hello, I'm Dr Murray Collins from the School of Geosciences at the University of Edinburgh. I'm going to explain to you today exactly what you can see in this fantastic high resolution satellite image of Sumatra. So first of all, where is Sumatra? So you are here in Edinburgh in Scotland and Sumatra is one of the main islands in Indonesia in Southeast Asia. Now in particular, we're looking at this area of Sumatra here around Burbank National Park and Sembilang National Park. In the top of the image, you can make out the last remaining forest of Burbank National Park. Now this incredible ecosystem supports tigers, gibbons, tapirs, and many of the other fantastic animals that you can see here in the zoo today. However, these forests are being destroyed very rapidly. Here is the development of a new palm oil plantation. So a company has built a road into the forest, cut down all of the natural trees, and replace these with palm oil plants. That means that this area of land is no longer suitable for tigers or any of the other magnificent animals that are found in the remaining forests. And if we look at this really high resolution zoom on the right hand side, you can see this process in fine detail. Here where there's remaining forests, if you look very carefully, you can make out individual trees, whereas in the plantation, you can even see cut trunks. This pattern of deforestation is being repeated right across Sumatra. And if we follow this road from north to south, we can see this for ourselves. New plantations being made, roads being cut into the forest. And as access is increased, people are able to work their way into these remaining blocks of habitat, cut individual trees and also trap the animals that live there. In the bottom right of the image, you can see the remaining forest of Sembilang National Park. Now this mangrove forest is incredibly important because there's evidence here from camera traps of tigers with cubs. So there's a breeding population here. Now this goes to show how important it is to support conservation action in these areas. And as you go around tiger tracks today, you'll see lots of ways in which you can support tigers and the rainforest habitat. 